By the way, that ship right there is our ship, Norwegian Jewel. Morning guys, we're now off to Hobbiton movie set. If you plan to visit this marvelous place, I suggest book your tour ahead of time online. There are many available tours to Hobbiton online. After meeting at the port, we took a scenic drive along the coast before we head to Toronga Township, then heading over to Toronga Harbor Bridge, then out to the hills. Right now, we are here at Massive's Honey Shop to get to see a live bee display and to get an ice cream. This is part of the tour package to drop by Mossop's Honey Shop. Now, this Mossop's Honey is a family business in New Zealand that has been producing and packing honey and products over 60 years. There's a live beehive display and informative panels tells the story from hive to honeypot. The length of this tour is approximately 5 to 6 hours, which includes the entrance fee, a fully guided tour, and a refreshing drink, an ale or ginger beer at the Hobbiton. Mind you, this bus ride from the Tauranga port down to the Shars Rest takes about 45 minutes with a stop over at the Mossips Honey Shop and another 45 minutes coming back. And voila! I am so excited! The place is so alive. In 1998, director Peter Jackson's team went to scout a home for the hobbits. An aerial search led them to the Alexander Farm, where they fell in love with the iconic rolling hills and lush green pastures of Hobbiton that noted the area's similarity to the Shire, described by writer J.R.R. Tolkien. This place is well maintained and it's like someone is actually living here. That right there is the party tree. Here after in March, the crew began the nine-month construction for the Hobbiton and help was extended to them by the New Zealand Army. Soon, 39 hobbit holes were scattered across the 12 acres plot used for the set. Strict security measures and secrecy were put in place by the production throughout the construction and filming. After nine months, it was in December 1999 where they started filming and it took about three months to get a wrap on the Shire. They were looking for the perfect location for a large tree beside a lake, and they found this place, the ideal location for filming the Shire. When the set was built for the movie, it was made of non-permanent materials. Therefore, after filming was done, it could completely be torn down, for most parts. But still, tourists, out of curiosity, are eager to see the movie set. So when Peter Jackson again decided to use the Alexander Farm for the Hobbit trilogy, the family agreed on one condition, to build the set permanently so that tourists could really visit the actual site even after the filming was over. And that would be a good business and that would boost New Zealand's tourism. Came 2009, Sir Peter Jackson returned to film the trilogy of The Hobbit and left behind all this beautiful movie set you can see today. There are 44 permanent reconstructed hobbit holes, perfectly detailed as seen in the movie. It's like any time one of the hobbits would go out of their hobbit holes and just do their daily chores.
the view is just insane. So, drones are prohibited unless you have the approval of the owner. In 2012, the Green Dragon Inn was open for the finale of the journey, and tourists finished their Hobbiton movie set experience with the refreshing beverage here. And now let's get some Hobbit drink. I must say I have to pull this just to complete my Middle Earth experience. Just a reminder when you're going to Hobbiton movie set, you can't roam around Hobbiton alone. You have to book a tour and follow the guide through the set. They will give you good information about the set. Expect crowd. There are 500,000 people who visit here annually. So again, expect crowd. Bring a full battery and have an extra battery or charger on hand. And lastly, pay attention to details because this is what makes the set so alive. It's all enchanting. Visit the Hobbiton movie set and experience the real Middle Earth with a fully guided tour around the 12 acre set, past Hobbit halls, and into the world famous Green Dragon. That's it for my Middle Earth experience. For more of my travel videos, please click like and subscribe and please ring that bell down there as well. Thanks for watching.